Hello, my name is Javi Sistiaga and I have created the Vehicle Dynamics Modeling and Simulation course within the Motorsport Engineer platform. It is a course where you will get the key basic vehicle dynamic concepts and we will use them to build MATLAB simulating models with lots of hands-on examples. I have an MSc in Motorsports Engineering from Oxford Brooks and I also have experience both in motorsport and automotive industry and I have used all those to put together this course. What I think is great from the course is that you will get to see the complete vehicle dynamics modeling and simulation process. So we will start from the basic concepts, then derive the equations of motion and use these equations of motions to build MATLAB simulating models together. And we will even do some initial analysis of the vehicle performance. So what is great is that you will not only learn how to use vehicle dynamic simulation tools, but you will learn how to build them. And we will do this for the vehicle lateral longitudinal and vertical dynamics. So in this way you are prepared for the different applications that you can find within the motorsport and automotive industry. This course is ideal for people that are looking for vehicle dynamic simulation related job opportunities, but also people that want to expand their knowledge in the field can benefit from this course. The only required knowledge is that you should have some basic understanding of engineering principles like Newton's second law, what is about the plot, and also a basic knowledge of MATLAB Simulink as it will be the software that we'll be using during the course. If you take the course that I encourage you to do, the outcomes that you can expect are, first you will get the key vehicle dynamic concepts for lateral, longitudinal and vertical dynamics. Also you will get a clear understanding of what is the process that is followed to build MATLAB Simulink models and you will have lots of hands-on experience in that. And finally you will own the, you will on the models that we build during the course. So once after the course is finished, you can keep on practicing with them, you can keep on running simulations, and you can even make them more complex. Thanks a lot for your time. I hope you take the course and you enjoy it. And of course, any feedback that you have is more than welcome.